For your growth in the new year, it is discipline, not motivation. Let's talk about it on today's video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Justin Ebert. This is Dr. Hugh Beatty, another episode of Limitless Longevity, where Dr. Beatty, the, the year is basically over, right? That The 2022 season has come to an end, and we are flipping the script, flipping the channel onto the new year, and we're going to talk all of those mindset tricks and, and habits and techniques in, into the new year and all of the things that, that they need to progress their life. But the foundation of all of this and the place that I want to start is you have to use discipline, not motivation. And if you're, you're watching, like, well, what's the difference? You're motivated a few times in your lifetime. Motivation happens when you're excited and you start something new. Mm. And then after that newness wears off, motivation leaves. Discipline is when you do something even when you don't want to. Right. Dr. Beatty, if you worked out when you were motivated, mm -hmm. how many times a week do you think you'd work out? Uh, I wasn't motivated to go this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. But I didn't go <laughs> because I'm disciplined. I said I got to stay on schedule. I have to continue to put that time in. Yeah. Discipline is the ability for anybody, right, a, an adult, a child to say, this may not be what I want to do in the moment, but it provides the, the life trajectory that I want to go, oh, yeah. right? Discipline is a thing that says, I know where my life is going. How, how am I going to get there? And the actions to back it up. And so quite frankly, one of the things that I see is oftentimes people aren't disciplined enough for, for either two reasons. So let's mm -hmm. talk about these. Uh, number one, it's because they're not very clear on what it is that they want. Mm -hmm. And so I, it's hard to be disciplined if I'm not oh, yeah. sure what I'm trying to do. Number two, I'm disciplined if I give myself an out. Mm -hmm. Right? So right. let's start with that, with that second one. Discipline, if I give myself an out, looks like this. Mm -hmm. Dr. Beatty, I know that I should eat healthy, mm -hmm. but I haven't eaten healthy for years mm -hmm. and I haven't seen consequences, so why should I change now? Right? right? Because eventually <laughs> that's going to catch up to me, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's important for me to start now mm -hmm. and create that mm -hmm. forward momentum. Well, as you talk about this, it makes me think about your why. What is the person's why yep. for, for being motivated or being disciplined to do something? And so my why is that when I get up in the morning and I said, I'm going to go to the gym this morning, my why is because I want to stay healthy. Yep. I want to live as long as I possibly can, but healthy as long as I can. I want, want to be strong. I want to be right. agile. I want to be fast. I want to look good. want to look good. <laughs> when, I, when I worked in the gym, people are like, Justin, what's your goal? I'm like, look good naked. Well, that's, yeah. that's always, I got a wife. I don't want to take my shirt yeah. off. My wife is like, hey, put that back on. Yeah. I want to look good. Yeah, you want to look good. <laughs> I want to that's, look good. That's it. Okay. Right? And so that discipline is that ability for us yeah. to say, do I want to get up at 5 a.m. when mm -hmm. it's cold outside and head to the gym? Right. No, but I can't accomplish anything in my life of substance if I don't practice that discipline. Right. And so, like, even every day, like, at least Monday through Thursday when I see patients, I have to be disciplined to do it because I'm yep. not always motivated <laughs> to do it. Sometimes I look at the schedule and it can be daunting, the things I have oh, to do. Oh, that person's with. coming in? That person's <laughs> coming. I got to do that procedure. I got to go to the surgery center. Yeah. But I just get up and just say, okay, as the day goes on, yep. I'll find my, you know, mojo, my groove, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. And... One of those tips to help you find that mm -hmm. discipline, mm -hmm. Dr. Beatty is exactly talking about. Sometimes the best place for you to start is what's the hardest thing to do? Oh, yes. And can I start with that? Because guess what? If you do the hardest thing first, mm -hmm. the rest of your day is going to be, be, be easier, yes. right? And so there, there's benefit to starting the day by doing something hard. Yes. As we were about to record here tonight and I finished up the day and I was waiting on you, I did the most difficult task after the night. I got the charts Charting, done. yeah. I went through all those patients' charts and completed them. So I feel like light as a feather right now. He's I got go some home, other things I can well. do. <laughs> I'm going to go home and make something to eat and probably relax for a little bit. And I got a couple of business things I got to do. But at least the tough task of charting is done. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And discipline happens by challenging yourself every day, which mm -hmm. gets to that, that first point that we talked about that Dr. Brady mm -hmm. brought up about this idea of your why, you mm -hmm. have to be clear. So if you're not mm -hmm. giving yourself those options, I know my life needs to head in this direction, mm -hmm. then you have to be clear on what that direction is. Right. How are you going to end up where you want to be if you're not even sure what that is? Right. Do you want a marriage that has hung on or do you want them that thrives? Do you want to retire when you're 85 or 45, right? Like each one of those happens mm -hmm by intentionally investing where they want to go in life. Well, when I think of discipline, I think of disciple too. 
Because in order to be a disciple, you have to be a learner. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes we're not disciplined because we don't know we need to be. We don't know how to be. And so, so the thing is, the, the more I, I learn about what I need to do, the more motivated I get. Yep. And the more disciplined I can be also. And that comes, I think, is a great point by mm -hmm. surrounding yourself with people who are emulating yeah. that life. Oh, yeah. I want to hang around people who are doing oh, yeah. better financially than me because yeah. I want to do better financially. And so when I hang around them, I pick up their habits. I want to be around people who are smarter than me because mm -hmm. they expose me to new ideas. Right. And in each one of those, it is a chance for me to practice discipline and say, Dr. Yeah. Beatty, I don't know anything about this subject, mm -hmm. which happens every time we turn the camera on. <laughs> but that's how we get better, right? But it goes both ways. <laughs> I don't know about your life coach and all this other stuff you wonderfully do. But one of the things tonight even, I was motivated to do this because I said, Justin is going to be here. Justin is disciplined enough to be on time, and you were. We said 5.30, and you were right here at 5.30. 5.30. And I'm glad you were motivated because I wasn't. I was just disciplined. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you need both, right? Like, I, I don't want to completely dismiss motivation. There, there are times, which is why we're releasing this at the new year, Maybe you are motivated to make some of those changes. You know you need to lose 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds or more. You know you need mm -hmm. to get your hormones balanced or, mm -hmm. or sleep better. You know you need to start exercising. You know you need to take your finances seriously. Whatever it is, if you are motivated to get started, then please get started right now. Just know that in one or two weeks when that motivation wears off, mm -hmm. when it's no longer the cool, sexy thing we're trying to do, that's when you need to practice discipline. That's what's going to separate you from everyone else around you, it's going to save you from being the statistic oh, yeah. of the 89% people who mm -hmm. don't complete their New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. It is because they rely on motivation, but you're different. You're going to rely on discipline. So figure out where you want to go. Don't give yourself an option and commit to it with everything that you are. This is Dr. Beatty. I'm Justin Ebert. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you on a future video. coaching and continuing this theme of motivation and discipline one of those places that you can get started that we kind of alluded to in the video I want to expand on just very quickly is determining the difference between wants and needs you need to eat healthy you need to exercise you need to get sleep and we can confuse ourselves by saying well I haven't been doing those things for years maybe they're not that important but a lack of needs being fulfilled will always catch up to you if you need to eat healthy, if you need to lose 50 pounds, continuing to push that off eventually will catch up with you through catastrophic heart attack or debilitating disease, something's going to happen. You see, we live in a society that wants to fulfill our wants. I can drive on my way home tonight and pass any number of restaurants and fulfill any want that I have. But I need to stay healthy for my wife, for my family, for my community, for the clients that are relying on me. So. As you differentiate between motivation and discipline, get clear on your wants and your needs and pursue your needs daily. That will allow you to be limitless and practice longevity. This is Justin. Thanks for watching.